Manna family, good morning. Uh, this is the brand new day. Our viewers all over the country that continue to be part of our programs, I welcome you this morning. And I also want to again say a special word of gratitude to my senior pastor, uh, Pastor Joylene, and the general overseer, Pastor Strike, for this opportunity to be able to come and encourage you today. Uh, brethren, today my producer is Musa Mangani, and I just want to thank him and also thank God uh, for this uh, young generation that is taking uh, their place uh, in terms of, you know, ensuring that we are relevant also as a church. Uh, brethren, joy comes in the morning. Arise and eat, brethren, for the journey is too great for you. Apostle Paul in Ephesians 6, 17 is talking to those who are saved. He talks about the helmet of salvation. The helmet, brethren, protects the head. He's not talking about attaining salvation. He's talking about the salvation that you have received. The scripture says, with the heart, one believes and is justified. And with the, with the mouth, one confesses and is saved. Satan seeks to destroy a believer's assurance of salvation with his weapon of doubt and discouragement. Brethren, your salvation is, etern is eternally protected. You can't lose it. A Christian's feelings about his salvation may be seriously damaged by Satan inspired doubts. Satan want to curse the believer with doubts. But brethren, you can be strong in God's promises of eternal salvation. I said on Monday, God assured us of eternal life. Security in Zalwana is assured. It is a fact. We have been given the gift by God through grace, not because of anything that we have done but through faith in Jesus Christ. Then the devil wants to claim that he can take it. <laughs> Today, brethren, we are looking at our third assurance as Christians, victory over sin and Satan. E Elijah understood as a believer and a prophet that he was there to represent the Lord boldly and courageously in the battle with satanic forces for the souls of men and for the glory of God. And from the scriptures we read this week, he did that. I, I mean, who pours water on the wood before making a fire? It's only a man who knows that he serves a living God, a God of impossibilities, a God who burns water with fire. I'm sure prophets of Baal, when they were looking at this, thought this fight they had won. Little did they know what they were about to face. There is no way that, I mean, according to the eyes of men today, there is no way that fire can burn water. But we know that it did. But even after prophet Elijah has seen that he was able to do this type of a miracle. Just a flicker of doubt after such a miracle, he ran for dear life. Brethren, I'm sure this is not something that is, a, that is foreign. It's not something that would surprise me and you. This is something that sometimes we see in our everyday life. But I want you to be encouraged because in John 3.16, God is saying, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came so that me and you could live. He came to tell sin and the devil that it is finished with your tricks. 1 Kings 18 36 to 40. Today, you know, this so to sing, 
uh, I mean, this so to him. I want to say to you, brethren, that today, because of the word that you are standing on, are rovelling this him yes pedi. Ye ring ore fe nyeri je li huli li bitla. Ore fe nyeri je satan. Madla agare afedile. I would, you know, I, 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 in fact, if it was possible, I wanted us to sing it even now, so that the devil must know that he is over. He's got no authority over us. And for, so that every brethren, whoever is seated, wherever they are sitting and is being challenged, can know that he's got authority. Satan, the devil, has got no authority over you. Uh, I, I would, it is my wish that every brethren that is presently sitting in the cave can actually come out of that cave. Every brethren that has been harassed in your thought, you can actually today be able to stand and know that the devil is defeated and know that the God is the God, there is a God in Israel, that there is a God in South Africa, that there is a God for your family, that there is a God for your marriage, that there is a God for everything that you are doing. Know that there is a God in heaven who is behind, who is behind you, who is in front of you, who is beside you, whatever that you are doing. Know, brethren, that there is a God in heaven. In 1 Kings 18, 36 to 40, I want us to read this scripture because this is, is actually our basic scripture of today. And this is after uh, the prophet Elijah has uh, challenged the prophets of Baal. And you know, I like the way that he challenged them because he gave them an authority to be the first to perform a miracle, to show that the God that they're actually following is a real God, that God has got power. He gave them authority, he gave them a chance and over and over, he kept on saying to them, call on your God, call on your God, so that we can see that he's the God that you claim that he is. That is the God that you claim that he's got power. And brethren, we have seen that they failed. They tried, he gave them even the whole day. And I, I think he wanted to ensure that th there will be no shadow of doubt in terms of what was going to be happening. That the God in heaven, the God that answers with fire, has got authority and is a living God. I'm going to be reading this from uh, the New King James, uh, 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 New King James version, from verse 36. It says, And it came to pass at the time of the offering of evening, sac evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God, of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant. And that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that you are the Lord God, and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust. And it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. And Elijah said to them, seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let one of them escape. So they seized them and Elijah brought them down to the brook uh, Kishon and executed them there. Brethren, that is why I'm saying today that Arogobelensi Felasi, Orifeni Dije Lihu, Lilivitla, Orifeni Dije Satani, Kamata Agare, Kamata, Mata Agare, Afedile. Anamata Satan. All what he's doing actually because sometimes we forget who we are. Sometimes we forget what is within us. 
in John 14, 16. And I will pray the Father. And he will give you another helper. That he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither, neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him. For he dwells in you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Brethren, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You have victory over sin and the devil. You have victory over sin and the devil. Uh, you know, I said uh, when we started this week that there are certain assurances that God has given us as the children of God. And that one of them was that he answers prayers. And also today I'm saying, he's saying we have, he's got, we have got victory over sin and the devil. And, and, and these are some of the things that brethren, that me and you knows. But sometimes we need to go back to the basis of our faith. We need to go back to the basis of our Christianity and look back at the things that are actually making us to stand. Because, you know, uh, like I said earlier on, the head is the battlefield. And this is the place where the devil usually attacks us as the children of God. This is, is the place where even when you have, you have achieved so much in your life, even when during the course of this COVID-19, you have never been attacked by this devil, but you find that you are still afraid. Brethren, today it is my prayer. It is my prayer that you stand very boldly. You sing this song. You sing this song so that the devil must hear. The devil must be reminded. The devil must know that you know who you are. That you know that you are standing on the word of God. That you, when you declare the word of God, Mudimu Wawokwa and Mudimu answers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. You said your word, you said in your word, that you said your word that comes out of your word, shall out of your, your mouth, shall never return to you void, but it shall accomplish what you want it to. My Lord, by the authority of Jesus Christ, I pull down strongholds today. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I thank you for answering my prayer because you said everything that we bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven and everything that we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We ask all this heavenly father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I'm standing here today and I have prayed and like prophet Elijah said, God answers our prayer when we pray according to his word and i want to encourage you my sister i want to encourage you my brother that today you may not have slept last night because the devil has been on your case you may not be courageous today because the way that devil has been i mean dealing with you as you were trying to sleep last night you could not even sleep i want to say to you as you enter this day brethren as you get into your job environment brethren as you do whatever that you are doing remember who you are remember the god that we save remember that the god that you are saving is mighty remember that the god that you are saving is the god in heaven is the god even on earth remember that whatever that you are doing today you have God behind you. You have God in front of you. You have God that surrounds whatever that you are doing. You know, it hurts me so much uh, to hear how, you know, brethren, most of the time, me included, that, you know, we get so challenged. We, 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 become, so, we become so weakened. We become so weakened by little things that, you know, are, are not supposed to be weakening us. Because now and then, you find that our faith becomes a little bit challenged brethren that is why i'm saying this is the joy is this is the day 
that the Lord has made. Joy comes in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, forget about whatever that might be happening at night. Forget about the bad dreams that you might have had last night. Know that this is your day. Know that this is the day that God is with you. Know that God says that he will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. God that God says that he is the God of his weight. He'll ensure that whatever that he promised you in this Bible, he will fulfill. Mudimaga, I thank you. I give you all the honor, all the glory. And brethren, I'm saying to you, we have won this battle. Victory is assured for you and me. Victory is assured for your family. Victory is assured for your marriage. Victory is assured for that business that you're thinking that maybe it's, it's dead, nothing is going to be happening with it because of this COVID-19. Victory is assured. You are going to be standing at the end of this year. You are going to be standing and declaring that Mudimuaga can niti uafenya. Mudimuaga can niti umpenye dije. That is why today, today I'm standing and I'm lifting my hands up to you and I'm saying glory and honor belongs to you. We thank you, brethren. Have a blessed day. Amen and amen.